Hello Ragers, I hope that you are all doing well. Now, fashion is a beautiful medium. It provides one with the means to truly express themselves to their heart's content. Even if you feel a constant sense of looming existential dread plaguing your mind and have lost touch with reality and your own identity, do not worry, that is why we have fashion trends. Hence, in today's video, we will explore the latest and greatest hippest and coolest trends of 2022. Basically, I made this post for my Instagram and just wanted to break it down further, so make sure to like and subscribe and maybe I'll make more than three videos a year. Starting off hot with the top left of the image, we have the most accursed t-shirt formula in a long time. The silly blank tee with impact font that says an absurd thing. The popularity and success of this format alone proves that you could quite literally put anything on a t-shirt and people will buy it. Obviously this is nothing new, number 9 was doing this years and years ago, and even before that I'm sure this was done in ancient times. Username Hot Model Sex Guy was a key contributor to the rise of this, same with Cardi merch, and it sort of spiraled from there. Right when I thought I had seen it all, a new one would pop up out of nowhere and send me back into a depressive state. Below that, in a very TikTok-esque quirky lane Tumblr chic, we have headphones being used as a fashion accessory. Personally, I am team Sony WH-1000XM4 gang, but the Air Max Pros and those TikTok cost Porta Pros were quite popular as well, and this sort of fits into the Y2K aesthetic which was also really popular this year. Between rhinestones, Y2K font, colorful zip-up hoodies, and so on, even Ed Hardy, Von Dutch, and True Religion had their moments this year, but they're all sort of for different reasons. As much as we may hate it, TikTok is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to fashion. We are all obviously unique and cool individuals, but TikTok alt-trend aficionados play a large role in what gains popularity a lot of the time and allows many people a window into the realm of fashion, even if they may be a bit misguided. As we all know that FHTV YouTube videos are the only real and true way to gain any fashion knowledge. Anyway, another Y2K alt-hip cool thing that gained popularity in niche communities online was Heaven by Marc Jacobs, which has quite the cult following. And of course, it couldn't be a 2022 trends video without mentioning the likes of Demna, Kanye, Yeezy Gap, and so on. They've always been known to make waves, and this year has been no different. Between the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga drop and the popularity of sports sunglasses or whatever else each brand or Demna or Kanye was doing independently of each other, they are all certainly key contributors to the many trendy fits we've seen throughout the year so far. Balenciaga rave pants and larger fitting pants in general were pretty popular this year, but in stark contrast to that, we have something like wax denim, which was more popular at the start of this year thanks to our favorite opium vamp goats. With regard to those of us who are mentally sane and leave our houses, I have noticed a lot of fog essential stuff making the rounds as usual. It seems like a pretty safe bet, similar to something like New Balance sneakers and Gorp Core jackets, year after year they seem to hold relevance. Even if they aren't the most crazy and exciting things in the world, there is a market for normal people who wear normal clothes. Who would have thought? The TikTok hipster Curtis Connor look has also been in. Go to a Blade or JPEG Mafia concert in any mildly popular city, and you will not be able to keep track of how many mullets plus mustache combos there are. Between that and more casual, I guess, bloke core sort of esque outfits, tank tops, and some nice vintage jeans have always been pretty popular, and this year has been no different. And of course, for all you little hype beasts out there, the Panda Dunks have been popular this year, which obviously makes sense. They're a very versatile and easy shoe to style. I've not been into typical streetwear hype all that recently, but this is something that I had to include, obviously. A few honorable mentions that I wanted to include pertain to more formal wear, cargo pants still, and Juicy Stussy have had a good year. Same with workwear, Adidas Sambas, and so on. I've gone into more detail regarding different styles in a previous video, so I didn't want to just repeat myself or waste any of your time. And that's honestly pretty much it, I just wanted to make a quick little video to further explain the trends of this year and recap everything that we all sort of already know without drawing stuff out any longer than it needed to be. If you want more in-depth content about certain styles or brands, feel free to check out my other, more longer videos. And with that being said, have a good rest of your day, let me know what trends you are rocking with down below, and I'll see you in the next one. My next few videos will definitely be longer, I just wanted to get this one out there and keep the tradition alive. Later, Ragers.